Good morning and welcome to a rather rainy peak district and I'm actually here in the village of Hope and this is the lovely church in the village and it's grade one listed and it dates back to I think the 14th century but we've come here just to have a quick look at these old cross bases these are all medieval cross bases there's one here and I think one here an amazing one there with really cool uh, carvings up there and just on the other side of the churchyard is actually a mott as well which is a Norman castle so we're gonna have a quick look at that before following part of the river have a look at the nearby Roman fort and then sort of go back round the northern side of the village only about three three and a half miles Our original plans today were to head up onto sort of Stanage the weather was meant to be okay from sort of mid-morning but they changed their minds and it's going to rain pretty much all day so we're sticking low as well because we had a nice big rubble of thunder It's a little bit gutted because we didn't actually get to see the mop very well. I could just make out a little bit of the top of the grassy mound over the wall and uh, the hedge, but it's in someone's garden. It's private, which is a real shame. But that particular mound, they think is actually either very early Norman or potentially Saxon, which is very rare. This is where we would normally have a nice view over to the other side of the valley. But the clouds are breaking a little bit, but I think up there would be sort of Bamford Edge and Wind Hill. We've just arrived at Navio Roman Fort and it sits overlooking the river and had a large civilian settlement around it as well. What's quite amazing about this fort is it was abandoned in 125 AD and then re-established around 154. And although there's no excavated remains, there's a few exposed stones just over here, you've got clear ramparts all the way around. You can see the clear kind of rectangular shape of the fort and it's in quite a strategic location, say overlooking the river.
We just arrived at Hope Station and check out that view looking down the line all the way to Loose Hill right at the end. And we're about to cross some of these fields just on the northern side of the village and then join the River No round to the very northern end and then follow some footpaths back in. So we've done about three and a half kilometres now, probably only about another one and a half k left. Hasn't stopped raining the whole way round. And it's still been really nice just to get out. 